<laughs> All right, so today I'm joined with Lulu and Monica, Molly, Jenna, Archer. Archer, what is the biggest red? Is that your real name? Yeah, it is. That's sick. What is the biggest red flag? Um, biggest red flag, in my opinion, would be bad hygiene because bad hygiene, you can just that's just you're out. You should be out because a person's appearance is like. You can just tell they're a messy person Ooh. if they're if have bad hygiene. Like um, when he won't introduce you to his friends when they can't handle their alcohol. That's a bad one. Um, has this is this a thing that has happened to you? Um, like a bit, maybe. Yeah. I don't really know. Like, like, what's the cringiest thing to do when somebody's really drunk and they can't handle the alcohol? When they throw up. Mm, when someone talks shit about their ex mm -hmm. in front of you. When they don't have a job. Oh damn, like unemployed? Unemployed. But what if they're, what if they're like, okay, what if they're in school? You can get a part-time job. I damn. Think. So just zero, zero contribution to the economy. Yeah. And uh, what is the most attractive like job or profession someone can have? Ooh, any type of doctor. Like mm -hmm. you, any type of medical doctor or, you know, surgeon like intelligence for me is like very attractive because like mm. it shows you know you're, you're like you're not just your looks because looks can fade over time like when you're like when we're like 60 like we're all gonna be looking like you know like yoda and shit yeah like jabba the hut like we're all like gonna be wrinkly and, like not us though we not, got the asian genetic bro not. Maybe a lawyer. Lawyer? Yeah. Like, what about an environmental lawyer? Are you no. talking about like ones that destroy the earth or ones that save it? Save it? <laughs> Maybe like a firefighter. Ooh, what, what about firefighters? Them stopping fires. Save lives? <laughs> yeah. Most attractive job? Uh, anything outdoorsy. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a ski instructor, so I'd say oh. if someone's a ski instructor. Um, I think bartenders. Damn, what what about them? Uh, they have good people skills, I think. Okay, okay. Yeah. That just, just they know how to chat. They're a 10, but they're a 10, but every time you guys go out to dinner, she always gets a milkshake. She always gets three milkshakes every time you go out for dinner, and you're like, oh, maybe slow down the milkshakes, you know, that's crazy. She's like, no, I love milkshakes. And then she, the milkshakes just taste bad. You should get back to the Oh yeah, 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 she, oh. is, she is, she is, but it's, she says it's worth it, but then you guys go home and she sh Oh no, nah. I'll ship you sound like Taco Bell rocket explosion, hell no, nah. she, um, uh... wait, she a 10, okay, she a 6 then. They're a 10, but, um, they only take you to fast food places even though they have the finances to go somewhere else because they genuinely just like them like the best. Four. Four? Four. Could you live with that or no? Probably not. What about you? I was gonna say 10. Oh. What? I Whoa. like fast food. But only fast food? Each date. Okay. Maybe, maybe six. Oh, lowered. They're a 10, but they do this really weird thing. I don't know why they do it, but when they're in the mood to eat food and they see like a, like say like you're at this old spaghetti factory, right? Mm -hmm. The old spaghetti is getting placed in front of them. And instead of going, mm, 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 they go. What are your thoughts? <laughs> are they staying on a 10? And this is the dream partner by the way. But they just go. Um, okay. I know Maybe like a four. Drop to a four, damn. 